today we're gonna try to do flex fuel on this 04 Silverado. This is our truck here and do a lot of towing and stuff with it, but not really racing, but we're trying to get the flex fuel set up on these older 411s so we have exactly what needs to be done. And when we get trucks and older Corvettes and Camaros, which uses a different operating system, so it'll take a little bit more work. Um, in here, we can get the best way to get flex on them. So like on my truck, on the HP tuner side, what I did is I had to use a, some of the newer trucks have flex fuel and some of the newer trucks have flex fuel um, virtual which virtual is not a si uh, sensor it just uses the o2 sensors and it's very very um, inaccurate and pro and failure prone so we try not to ever use that one um, but what i did on my truck is got a different operating system out of a tahoe that came flex fuel enabled it and see as you can see i've got the flex fuel enabled there also had to change some things on the Deutsch AFR to correct that and then on the spark tables of course populated spark tables and did that so we'll see how it works in regards to that Dusty's over here putting on the kit I think it's a kit that we kind of piece together from a few kits right yeah this is DSX tuning kit for the newer trucks yeah, and it bolts on right there for that. Because that was pretty the fuel easy. Fuel rail is the same, but we did have to get a different pin for the PCM. For this gotcha. 411. And it looks like it's going to be pin blue 56, I believe. So we'll get that done here shortly. All right, pin 56. Which one was that? Actually, 56. Is, it actually is <laughs> labeled on this one. Yep. 56. That zoom action. Look at that. Z All right, everything on this is wired up. Fits right in to your stock location. Loops around to connect back from your line. Really easy. It goes in line of a coil pack, which gives it the power in the ground for the system. And then the one signal wire, like we showed previously, runs to the computer and was connected there. I think it was the blue 56. So. That part is good. All right, now in the truck, got it hooked up. And as you can see, we've got about 5% alcohol in here now. And it's still commanding a 14.7. Air fuel is, that's all we really need at this uh, level. Um, and then as it increases E content, it will increase, or actually actually decrease the air fuel to match what E85 lights some 85 in there and see how it does just wanted to uh, mention is there are two computers that are 411s the earlier models of the po1s and then the later models of the p59 my truck being a p59 is a little easier to tune for e85 because you can just grab a flex fuel truck tune sort of put them together and make it work wire in the sensor everything else we did the PO1 computers are the earlier computers, and to make those work, you actually use an O2 Tahoe. Uh, it has the exact operating system matches, and I've got one of those in here that I've done, but I haven't tested that one yet. That'll be the next one we test. And then I'm gonna try some Corvettes and things. I wanna try to make sure we can make everything use full flex. Um, then we can upgrade fuel systems, of course, for those to do. It would just be really nice to be able to even expand and have everything that we work on be able to use the 85 if they want it or if the customer needs it or wants it. All right, so I just did a pull on 93 or 87 just to see where I was at with everything. Got to give us a baseline. I know we're going to be kind of uh, on the stock injectors, probably going to run out of fuel, but we don't really care. The car's never, the truck's never at wide open throttle a lot. It's tow truck and we just cruise it and drive it but anyways see it's got about 10 percent with the 87 that was in here and at red line which on this truck's only 5500 it's about 82 percent duty cycle so seeing that we're halfway uh only got a half tank of gas in here already 
probably want to be about 40 percent probably get 95 duty cycle on pure 85 it'll max them out but we'll be okay with how we drive it but on any truck you're going to need to upgrade the injectors even on a stock truck to the flex fuel truck um uh injectors that ran in some of the ones that were factory flex fuel um, some use the sensor and some use the virtual one like i said do not use the virtual one from our experience it's been really bad and only use the one that is full flex um, that has a sensor that we showed you earlier so filling up now and let it get in the system and then we will see how much a duty cycle we have and what the percentage we get from about half of e85 half of 87 all right, we put about 13 gallons of E85, that's 25 gallon tank if I remember correctly. And as you can see, the percentage now is 47.7% alcohol content with a commanded air fuel ratio now of around 11.8, which makes sense because it, uh, pure E85 would be in the nine, so we're about halfway in between there. And as you can see, no changes to the tune. It's able to pull fuel, add fuel to correct amounts and um, to where it's not uh, throwing any codes of course and it's able to maintain all that with no changes to the tune at all besides enabling some things, some spark. The last thing I want to do is see about how much fuel we are going to need or how much injector. I hope I can get away with just stock uh, truck E85 injectors. We'll see if it's uh, where we sort of run at, uh, run out at. I think the 50% alcohol is probably going to be about all we can do, which is fine because we can surely get uh, bigger injectors and throw them in here and tune for that. All right, just have that little first gear hit. Nothing major at all, of course, but I did want to log it and show. As you can see, we have uh, 29 degrees of timing in this girl from uh, the added ethanol content and no spark knock at all. It's a great sign. And the injectors are gonna be okay for this truck. It looks like I probably will still upgrade them, but at 50% alcohol, we're pretty rich. We got a little extra buffer there and we're under that 100 uh, injector duty cycle threshold. So we should be okay. Like I said, we're gonna upgrade them anyway, but if you had to sort of get away with it, you could get away with the stock injectors on E85 on a stock truck like this. The only thing modified is cold air intake and the Z85 now that we have added this. So again, that's, that about wraps this video up. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please reach out and let us know uh, how I can help. Thank you very much.